Today we will show a contest between two GNS receivers and two LAN survey software packages. On one side we have the Stonex S10 with serve CE and on the other side we have the Amulet Reach RS2 with Abglow Survey Wizard. This contest is the result of some smart Dutch students that convinced their teacher to use Abglow Survey Wizard for their GPS surveying classes. They found the LAN survey app Abglow Survey Wizard on the Google Play Store, they tried it and they loved it. As I already mentioned, they are very smart students. So we invited them to our castle and explain them more about our company and about Abglow Survey Wizard. And of course, then you have to go outside. Because you can try what you want, but GPS signals don't go that well through walls of like 1 meter thick. When we were outside, one of the students had a brilliant idea. He wanted a challenge and to see which GPS kit is set up quicker and which one can map a point first. The students brought their GPS kit from their school. It was a Stonex S10 receiver. They use it with Surf CE. The students will compete with Raymond. That will use the Amulet Reach RS2 with Abilos Survey Wizard. This contest was spontaneous and nothing was prepared. So what you will see now is what really happened. Let us know in the comments who you think will win. The result might surprise you, but in the end of the video there is a conclusion that you will definitely not want to miss. Because following that conclusion will make you a better land surveyor. It does not matter which NS receiver or land survey software you are using. Anyway, let's go to the contest. Enjoy watching! Let's see here about the contest. The students are ready, and Raymond is ready, and yeah, we will start. Yes, Raymond is already going quick. The students are with many more. One is already taking the handheld, the other ones take the rod and we will see how it's going. Raymond already put the rod together and there are the students with one, two, three, four, five. I can't even count them how many. They are putting now the battery in the Stonex S10. Uh, one person already put the rod together and Raymond put now the Amulet Reads RS2 and he turns on the receiver. But the students are there and they put the Stonex S10 on the rod. The other ones are already configuring the Nautis X6 with Cersei E. Raymond puts the... Oh, what is happening there? There is a student checking on Raymond. Uh, is that legal? I don't know, but we will check later. The students are continuing with their setting up their GPS kit. They have everything configured. Let's see how they are doing now. Here there is a new hint for Find the Wizard 2021. It's another contest. I am sure the students in this video would like to win this contest. The prize is a complete GPS survey kit. You can see more on how you can win this GPS survey kit in the video on the top right of this video. So let's see about the hint now. You will know the number of the marked digit when you open the file I mentioned in the description below. The DXF file is drawn in the Dutch Cornet system RD Nap Trans 2018 and it is in meters. Good luck with this hint. I think this is not that fair because they are with I think 8 students and Raymond is just alone. But they are already both having configured the GPS kit. And what's happening now? They are checking and they are checking. Let's see, there is Surf CE, it's on. But what's happening now? I have no idea. They both are just waiting. And Raymond is also there. Yeah, I think he's configuring and checking the connection with the Emily Reads RS2 and the students are checking oh, what's happening the students are going to measure the point point and will it work will they be first let's see he is on the point but nothing is happening Raymond is still trying to connect and there he goes as well he made a connection and they're both trying now to map the point Let's see, he's making a layer, Raymond, that's nice, but is it on time? That is what we need to know. The students are still on the same point, there is something wrong there. I have no idea what there is, they are doing. Let's see, a bit closer. Yeah, they are going there, but are they mapping a point or not? There seems to be some confusion with the students. They are just pushing their buttons on Surf CE. And then there is Raymond there. The students are watching and watching. And Raymond is trying to see what is happening. 
but there is no RTK or is there RTK? He is waiting, he is waiting for the RTK. The Emlet Reads needs to have RTK, otherwise he doesn't he can't map a point. And now he has RTK. A Bluetooth connection has been made with the Emlet Reads RS2. He has RTK and now he maps a point. We have a winner. Honestly, you could see that both GPS kits were set up in almost the same time. It didn't take more time to set up M plus Vavis with the Emlet Reads RS2 than it did take time with the Stonex S10 and Surf CE. But mapping a point was at the moment of the contest impossible with the Stonex S10 and Surf CE. A half hour later it was still impossible to map a point with the Stonex S10 and Surf CE. Even the teacher of the students could not fix it. In the meanwhile, the Emlet Reads RS2 with Evolve Survey Wizard accommodation could keep on mapping the terrain. There were no problems there. In the end, the students had to go. They were sad because of their loss. Later, their teacher called us. He said they didn't extend their license for the entry corrections on time. And that is where we all can learn something from. This contest was not about winning. This contest shows you something else. And that is that you always have to be prepared. Before you go out to a land survey project, Make sure everything of your GPS kit is in order. This of course is important for Surf CE with the Stonex S10, but you also have to be prepared and check everything using Ambrose Survey Wizard with the Amulet Reads RS2 or any other receiver. A good preparation is the base for every good land surveying project. If you like this advice, then give a thumbs up, also you can subscribe to our channel. Part of a good preparation is to make sure you have a good connection between your land survey software and the GNS receiver. Next to me, you can see how you can connect Applos Survey Wizard with the Emlet Reads RS2. Thanks for watching and enjoy using Applos Survey Wizard.